one owner car guy one owner car guy .com. as you know I haven't been doing as many videos especially as many car and truck videos but lately I've been cranking out a couple cars and doing a couple things what I got here for you today is a really nice I think it's a one owner before we got it um, 2007 Dodge Ram 3500 heavy duty Cummins turbo diesel beautiful truck in white um, it's super nice um, nothing I anybody sells is ever going to be a 10. I mean, even when you get them from the dealer, sometimes they're not a 10. But I'll tell you what, this thing ranks really close. It's a 9 point something. So, that's that. It's clean. Um, never abused, from what I can tell. Just used. It's a used truck. The guy used it. There's only 44,500 miles on this thing. 44,449 right now, I think. My dad used it to go um, drive to Montana a couple times. Um... Man, that's the basic story of the truck. Um, it's for sale. 44,000 original miles. I'm going to go around it and show you any damages and such that I know of. And there's not a whole lot to talk about. you got a front hitch. And from what he said, it was pulled behind a something. This needs to be redone. You know, you sand it down real quick and do the spray. Man, it's straight. Overall, straight everywhere. It could probably use a buffing, a polishing. We've never polished or anything. But it's shiny, it's in great shape, and paint looks fresh and nice, just to preserve it, I would guess. I'm sure there's a ding or something I'm not seeing somewhere, but I'll tell you, just ain't seeing nothing. I'll come back at it and look down the side again, but I'm just not seeing any damages really. This is just a little, little tiny stuff right there. Hope you can see that. And other than that, on this side, shell and everything, Clean as can be. You'd know it on this because it would rip the fiberglass off. I'll show you in a different light later. See, we didn't even polish the chrome up. My um, buffing and polishing game has been really off lately. Just kind of been in the same places and having my equipment. But underneath, everything, clean as can be. I'll show you it on the other side. And then we'll um, see if we didn't put all enough or anything. It's got the butt hitch. here. Lear topper. Down this side, I know it's got mud flaps. The formed ones or what have you. Plenty of tread left. I think these are probably just replaced. In fact, you know what? I think my dad did put Yokum. Yokumamas on them. Yokumamas. Well, you know, you know. And, you know, the only things I know of in the truck is right here. It's right there. And right here, there's a tiny one. And that is all I know of. And like I say, it would even shine more. It's buffed out. We didn't polish it or nothing. I'm going to show you the interior while we're here. Maybe a little discoloring started right there on that shell. I'm going to show you the interior while we're down here because it's a nice light for it under this canopy. And then we'll go up and catch the golden hour. I'll give you a test drive and all that. I like the mirrors with the spot mirrors built in. We get rid of this. It's going to drive us crazy. Trailer brakes. Ain't no wear on the pedals. Like I say, that little stain I think come out so easy, a little coffee stain or something, and we didn't even do anything with it. Seats are clean as can be. Okay, I actually had to start it up because I had this douchebag come by with his radio blaring rap music and stuff. Tiny bit of wear right there. It's not ripped through the seat, it's just right on the seam, on the rise up. Nice, they're in good shape. I'm going to show you the door panels, all the power amenities, all that. Uh, he's got his stuff on the floor here, he doesn't have detail, but it's in great shape everywhere. Headliner, great shape. And it's that light gray, so sometimes it doesn't stay in light shape. I mean, it's great shape as well, because it usually gets stained up. This is not stained up. Tim, once again. Great shape. Floors and everything. It's a clean truck. Super clean truck. Make sure the front. And then we'll go into the hood. Show you that. Infinity sound system. I got the books. A carrier for the books. All that good stuff. 
um, floor down here because they're right shape. Dash all uh, cracked up. Something like that. I think great shape. It's a clean, clean truck. Not a hundred meter jack except you can really pass in the front of this. And it's a matching set of tires, by the way. They're not all mismatched. They're Yokomamas all the way away. Let's get this hood open, and then we'll go for a test drive. See all that. If you're looking for a clean truck, stop it. Call me, Nathan. 406. Take it on the road and go on a test drive. Okay, it's got satellite radio and everything. There's your mileage. 43. Yeah, 449. 43, 449. I was over by a thousand. Okay, let me. I gotta adjust these mirrors real quick. Not where I like them. And I'd rather have them working like I like them than run into somebody. The truck has plenty of pickup. And yeah, that's that. It just runs great. The truck's basically new. It's not even broken in, man. This car's not broken in at 43.4. Well, I'm in an area where there's lots of lights. 406 546 8748. Name's Nathan. And I would absolutely pick you up at the airport. And I would expect to drive this car anywhere. I mean, you know, you buy an old rig, you can any time have a, a hose or a belt blow out. Anything can happen to you on the road. However, I wouldn't be afraid to drive this anywhere. I have AAA all the time. You have some stupid little problem, get towed to the next town, stop at the Napa, done deal. But I trust this thing. It's a good running rig. It makes me want to go to work, I tell you. Brakes work, um, AC works, you got crews and everything in the steering wheel. Um, you got buttons behind the back here. I don't even know what they do. And oh, you got stowage down there or whatever. I don't know what that is. Okay, and in this year they do have the engine brake on it. You push it right there and it'll go oh, and slow you down. I don't know what this is. Some kind of alarm or something, who knows? I do know it has a nice, good sounding, lots of bass, lots of Mid-range, everything. Stereo. That's affinity, what do you expect? It's got a good stereo in it. Well, no big loud mufflers or anything. This thing is pretty much bone stock. It's all there, man. She's snappy. Get a programmer. Put some exhaust on this thing. Make it not bone stock real fast but traffic jam I love the sound of that wastegate blowing off there great trucks and I'll get up here and take some night pictures give you a different view of it to where you can see if there's in different lights these trucks look different I want you to see it both ways and I can assure you that if you want a clean Cummins turbo diesel, one ton dually. Well, it will be hard pressed to find it. Even if you get a 2023. Okay, here I'm in the cul-de-sac. It is the golden hour. It is beautiful beautiful time of day and I'm getting you a different light. Even the bottom here, look at this. The plastic the spoiler still there, all good. Meat is clean. And I'm just gonna give you a little walk around here. A, what would you call it? More shadowy area. And then I'm done. We got numbers like the third time. 406, 546, and 748. Don't wait, call me. This thing ain't gonna last. 
uh, once he gets on eBay. Yeah. That's that. Uh, Marine vet or something like that. trying to imagine if there's anything else I can tell you about. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. God, it's clean going out of sight. I mean, you could spend $85,000, $95,000 on a new one, but why? Wow. Pretty newish. Newish. I'll give you a sneak peek at some more new inventory and an old inventory. I just got a um, 88 Brome in. Nice car, Brome the Elegance. Last of the big square body mob cars. I just put that on my website. It's right there. Check it out on my channel. Got the miniature Peterbilt. Got the H3T Alpha coming up. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Okay, well that's that. Floor mats forward are right here. I do have them. There's the miniature Peterbilt. There's the 83T pickup. Alpha, baby. LS4. And here's this. Give me a ring if you're interested. And talk to you soon. Subscribe, like, comment. Later.